Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Google Nexus 7. Now this is a seven inch tab. It's made by Asus. Let me start by saying this tablet is a definite go. And the price is right. So let me unbox it. I'll show you how the tablet. I'll show you some of the features and all that and you can see what I'm talking about. First off, let's take a look at the box. Now if you ever bought anything from Asus, you already know you're getting quality. And this is another quality product. Nice presentation. If you take a look at the back of the box, it's made for Google Play, which means similar how the Kindle is made for Amazon, the Nexus is made for Google Play. So when you're using the Play Store, it's going to get seamless interaction. It's a full-fledged Android tablet, means it's got all the features of any tablet that's out right now, and it's running pure Google. So that means no HTC Sense, no modal blur, no, no touch whiz, no extra UI, just straight Android 4.1 jelly bean. So that's a good look. Now let's open it up. So when you slide it out the box, it's inside of another box. Nice Nexus branding, looking real clean. Open this up. You got the tablet right here. Pop that out. You got another box. So when you open the next box, no surprises. You got the usual books and shit. You got the charger, and you got the micro USB cable, and another pamphlet. All right, so that's it. So no surprises inside the box, but still a nice quality presentation. Now let's take a look at the tablet. You take it out the plastic, power it on real quick. When you see that lock screen, that means it's running Jelly Bean. Beautiful. Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Project Butter, the tablet runs buttery smooth. That's why they call it a Project Butter because it's buttery smooth. No lag at all. Now let's take a look around it. On the top, you got nothing. On the right side, you got the power on and off. You got the volume up and down. That's it, so just the power and the volume. On the bottom, you got 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You got the micro USB adapter, that's it. On the left side, you got the power pins, so this way you can plug it into a docking station, that's it. On the top, you got nothing. Now on the back, the back is made out of this textured, kind of rubberized feeling material, but it feels nice. It feels like if you hold it in your hand, it gives you something for a little bit of grip. As you can see, it's perforated a little bit, you see the holes, but it's a nice rubbery material. You got big Nexus branding on the back, and you got your speaker on the bottom, and you got a little Asus branding. Now, if you notice, the only thing missing, there's no camera. All right, so there's no camera on the back. Now, on the front, you got a 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera for video chat and Google, you know, Google Talk and all that stuff. And as you can see, there's no hardware buttons. Everything is on screen. So you got the uh, Jelly Bean on-screen buttons so that's it now if you looked around it with me you can see that there's two things missing from this device that's kind of you know disappointing there's no micro USB no way on here so you can't put a micro USB card in here and there's no camera now is that a big deal not really why let's talk about the price the price of this is two hundred dollars alright for the 8 gig version two hundred dollars now keep in mind this is a quad core tablet. Now let me show you some, now me personally, I'm not really too heavy on seven inch tablets, even though I do got a few of them. But um, I'll show you some of the ones that I'll be rocking right now and we'll put them together for size comparison. Now this has, been my, this has usually been my favorite seven inch tablet, my HTC Flyer. As you can see, camera, and it has um, micro USB card. So this has been my favorite seven inch, but whatever. Put them side by side. The Nexus is thinner and lighter. And you got to keep in mind, this is quad core and this is dual core, so it's going to run a lot faster and smoother. This one has a whole bunch of lag to it here and there, so we're not even going to really rock this one too much anymore. Next, I've been using my BlackBerry Playbook a lot. As you can see, camera. You know, this has um, a few more features on it, whatever, but this is also dual core. This is quad core. So the Nexus is quad core. So that's killing the BlackBerry off top. And it's thinner and lighter than the BlackBerry. So, for $200 for 8 gig 
quad core. Now, keep in mind, without even getting too heavy in the specs and all of that, you know, it has a Tegra 3 chipset. It's clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. You know, not the best benchmarks out there and all that, but in real world use, this tablet runs silky smooth. Let's turn it back on so I can show you what I'm talking about. It's running the jelly bean, so everything on it is nice and nice and crispy, nice and smooth. When you're opening up your apps, everything opens nice and quick. As you can see, I was up on a YouTube, open up a new tab. It's running Google Chrome. Now, but having some problems with my Wi-Fi connection in here, but um, we'll see if we could get it to work. Now let's talk about some of the features. Keep in mind, this has an NFC chip in the back, so you're able to use all the NFC features, so if you're getting all your NFC tags and you got them all over your house with your calendar reminders and all that stuff, when you tap it up to that tab, your NFC is gonna work on it. Battery-wise, now I've been using this for the whole day. So far, 10 hours straight, still got mad battery left. Now the battery is 4,325 milliamps. All right, so that's almost a 4,500 milliamp battery, which will definitely last you all day with heavy use. And if you don't use the tablet that much, you're definitely gonna be able to get two days. So if you don't use it that much and you come home and you forget to charge it, you'll still be able to use it the next day to rock some Angry Birds on the train on your way to work. 1.2 megapixel camera for the front. Not that great, but good enough, you know, when you're using um, video chat and all of that. Whatever, you're not gonna be using this to take pictures at a wedding or something, but 1.2 is good enough for video chat. Now, let's take a look at, um, let's, let's try the voice search. Now, I don't know how my Wi-Fi is working in here. Let's try it. What time is it? The time is 7.17 p.m. Now this is one of the best features about Google 4.1, you know, the Jelly Bean, and one of the best things that I like so far about this tablet, playing with the voice search all day, it works to me better than Siri. Let's look for, let's say we want some McDonald's. Where's the closest McDonald's? Pops right up. Do a little bit of math. What's 10,000 times 421? is 4,210,000. What's the weather like today? The forecast for Jamaica, NY today is 93 degrees with a chance of storm. And you see the voice doesn't sound as computerized as a lot of these other voice search apps that's out right now. You see the weather came up. I mean, when you start playing with the Google Now, you're going to love it. And the voice search, I mean, you could use this all day, all night, have a lot of fun with it. I've been using it for a minute, and it works It works great. What else? Let's take a look at the music player. Now you get your Google Music. So you got all your songs. If you put it in landscape, let me see. Uh, do I have any songs connected here yet? Let's see. Got to look into that, but... um. Whatever. When you put it in the landscape, it's, it's going to change to the other mode. I got to figure out how I did that earlier. Like I said, I've only been playing with this for one day. Let's hear the speaker on this. Matter of fact, let me get a better, better, better song than that. I don't even know what that is. Well, I got to log into my accounts. Because <laughs> this is the stock songs that come with it. Let me see. Let's try this. Now I logged in under a different Gmail. This way you can hear how the how the volume is. Let's see. Listen to the speaker. So the speaker is nice and loud. I gotta reiterate, two hundred dollars. All right, you hear that speaker, nice and loud, nice and crispy. Once you, if you log in with your Google, you, you know, your Google account, you have all your music and all that. Right now, um, I had to use my Bluetooth, <laughs> Google account, so whatever. But um, notification bar, everything works. It has the pinch notification. I only have one email on this one, but if you had a bunch of emails, you could pinch them in and out. You know, you swipe across. So all of the Jelly Bean features work on this. Let's take a look at a, let's pull up a YouTube video real quick. All right, let's go into the YouTube app. 
We'll pull up something on YouTube real quick. This I'll give you an idea how the screen looks. Okay, let's play one of my uh, favorite videos. See how it comes out. Now, like I said, the Wi-Fi in here is not that great, but it is what it is. Classic hip -hop shit. Dr. -E. So the display, keep in mind this display is IPS LCD, but it looks beautiful. You know how loud that is? Sounds great. Let's turn it down a little bit. Like I said, LCD screen. We ain't gonna get into resolution numbers and all that. Let's just say it looks great. So that's the YouTube play on it. Everything works. All your all, all your apps, Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, everything will work on this. Two hundred dollars. On a scale of one to ten, I'm giving this a solid eight. You know, the only thing I don't like about it. There's no camera, you know, I like options. There's no camera, you know, you can't put the micro USB card in there. Whatever, that's not a big deal, you know, whatever. Matter of fact, I could even give it a nine because nobody really cares about that. For the price, For now keep in mind, for the price, it's a 10. But in my personal opinion, you know, using all the tabs, because remember, I got the, I got a Samsung, um, I got the seven inch, the Galaxy tab also. So when you got all these other tabs with all the features on it, and this one doesn't have a camera, doesn't have the micro USB card, you know, I mean the micro SD card, whatever. Is it that big of a deal? Not really. So my personal opinion, I'm giving this, mm, let's give it a solid nine because nobody really cares about the camera and the micro, all that. This is quad core processor for $200. So if you're on a tight budget or if you want to buy a gift for your daughter or your son or whatever and something that you know, something like this, that they, there's a chance that they could break this. You know, I bought the Kindle for my daughter. She ain't break it yet, but there's a chance they could break it. Do you want to go out and drop $500 on the tablet and they're going to break it? Or they ain't going to really use it that much just to play Angry Birds and to play Temple Run and all that? Whatever. This is a win. Matter of fact, let me pull up Temple Run on this so you can see what it looks like. See how some of the games look on this. My personal rating, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm give it a 9. But for the price, it's a definite 10. Definite. Let's turn it up. Show y'all my temple run skills real quick. See, temple run works good on it. Everything is fluent. I mean, you could be on the train or the bus or wherever, the DMV, the doctor's office. You could be playing this all day. All right, so the temple run works good. You got all your recently used apps. Just swipe them away. looks great let's 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 change the wallpaper real quick because you know I like the all black everything so let's put on a different wallpaper let's try the stock wallpaper so we got the stock wallpaper you also got live wallpapers let's see which ones they got in here all right these are the ones that come with it but you can download anything you want let's try the bubbles all right so we see we're running the live wallpaper still no lag at all let me just show you how to browser real quick and then we'll keep it moving up out of here. Let's um let's try ESPN. Okay, so we'll take it to the to the web, see how how it looks. Alright, so this looks like a mobile site. Yeah, this is a mobile site. Let's 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 see if we can find the the desktop. Oh, we'll click on something now. Let's see if we can use a pinch to zoom. Right, this is mobile stuff. Let me let me let me take it to a different site. As you can see, you could you could use gestures also. So I could swipe side to side and open up different tabs. You know, my other pages that if I had three tabs open at the top, all I gotta do is swipe to the side. Open it back up. Let's try something else. Let's try the weather. So 
So let's see if we get a pinch to zoom. See how the pinch to zoom works in it? No lag at all. Yeah. Let's see if we get something with some words in it. There we go. All right. See? Pinch to zoom works great. Swipe that out of there. I can't stress this enough. Two hundred dollars, all right. So for two hundred dollars, you're getting a quad core tablet. You can't go wrong. This is definitely getting the floor seal of approval. Now, me personally, I'm not into seven inch tablets anymore, or whatever. So I'm giving this to my shorty as a gift. Whatever, not that big of a deal. This is something that you know she could just throw in her pocketbook or leave it in the car, or whatever. So I'm not gonna really do any more videos on this because I'm gonna get this away unless I see her using it too much and I start hating that I might have to cop one for myself too. But this is a solid nine, a solid 10 for the price, $200. Now keep in mind, when you get it from the Google Play Store, it's gonna be $200 plus tax. It's gonna come up to like 230. But when you buy it from Google Play, they give you a $25 gift card you know, to the um, Play Store. So it's really $200. So once you buy it and you log in, you're gonna get $25 free. So you go out and get all those paid apps that you was, you know, being too cheap to get all year. Go out and get the paid versions of all those apps because you're getting it for free, all right? Shout out to everybody that follow me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter. Shout out to everybody hit me up on Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hit me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to all the dudes hit me up on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, all right? Now I'm gonna get back to y'all probably later on this week with that Galaxy Note review. You know, we're going to do the full review on that. And everybody asking me, is the Note better than the Nexus 7? Of course it is. It's way better. But we'll touch that another... We'll get into that a little bit later. All right, so we got that video coming. I got some headphones, some other stuff we're going to get into. So we get into all that stuff in the next couple of days. It's your boy Floss. I'm going to catch you with y'all in the next trip. Deuces.